Hey everybody, in this tutorial I'm going to be introducing you to the new and improved Mix Moves animation tool in iClone 6.5. So previously we had uh, the Mix Moves uh, library motions that you could apply uh, to your character, but now we have an actual tool inside iClone 6.5. And this is a really intuitive tool that uh, includes unique automatic motion blending technology that's exclusive to Reillusion. Uh, they're pre-calculated motions with a predefined motion graph to determine the best and most efficient blending results between these motions. Uh, there's enhanced response speed, natural mirror motions, as well as smart routing, uh, smart routing between the different uh, types of motions that we have. There's also more than 500 motions embedded in iClone now and the Mixed Moves uh, tool, male and female specific. There's also, in this pack that I'm showing on the screen right now, the Mixed Moves Communication 200 pack, there's 280 motions available here or sit and stand communication. There's different moods, talk and listen, and all this stuff. Let's take a quick look at some of these. So you can see there's female and male specific. So if we go to the uh, female, for example, the stand, you can load up all these different motions and just kind of test those out. And you can see she's uh, kind of agreeing here. We have a uh, board. Uh, these are just arms crossed responses. So these are uh, basically uh, responses for uh, any sort of conversation you might have. Um, this one here is laughing, so a very polite uh, kind of laugh. And there's idle talking, stuff like this, like the happy talking. You can see it's very expressive. And again, all of these blend very nicely together. Let's take a look at some of the sit ones for the male. So you can see he's you know sitting down and approving something like this. And we just play it back. It's like, yeah, that's right, you know, something like that. And there's all sorts of different ones that you can explore on your own time by going to this page right here. And we'll talk more about uh, the difference between the G5 uh, mix moves and the character creator mix moves in just a moment. But let's go ahead and close this down first and let's go to iClone where we have our Christian character loaded up. And the first thing I'm going to show you is the difference between uh, the way we used to apply mix moves and the way we do now. So previously you'd have to go to the motion library right here uh, under animation tab and you would select, you know, mix moves. Now we have character creator mix moves and G5 mix moves now with the uh, new update. Uh, we'll talk more about this in a little bit, uh, but I'm just gonna choose mix moves male for now. Uh, so say for example, I wanted my character to go, you know, down to his knees from the idle position. Well, I can choose idle zero one to kneel. If I just double click that, my character will get down on his knees. And then what I would have to do is at the frame where it ends, 261 in this case, I would go down to kneel zero one uh, going in alphabetical order here, and I would have to use like, uh, um, let's say, Neil01 back up to idle, for example. Okay, and he would get back up on his knees, and you would keep on applying those uh, so on and so forth from there. So we can go from idle. Um, say, for example, right now we wanted to go from idle to lying down on the ground. Now, previously you would have to go from idle, you would have to go down to H I J K L, so I. J way up here, idle one to uh, sit or idle one to whatever, idle one to sit right here. Um, but say for example, I didn't uh, do that, I accidentally wanted my character just to lie down. If I double click on lie, you can see he'll just kind of lie down. There's no blending that happens. So that was kind of an issue. You'd have to find, you know, the end of the previous motion to blend it into the uh, future motion. Okay, so let's go ahead and close this down. Let's take a look at the new mix moves tool. I'm gonna right click my character and remove object animation. And I'm going to load up this Mix Moves tool right here. So here's all our motions in Mix Moves. If I wanted my character to kneel down, I just double click Kneel01. All right, and it'll apply a motion. And we can press F3 to go into the timeline. And you can see the motion that applies in the uh, uh, motion track right there. Now, if I want my character to uh, idle, all I need to do is go to um, a stand right here. And there's a number of different stands. So maybe Stand01. If I double click that, my character will stand back up. And regardless of which motion I choose here, so say for example I wanted to choose the lie down motion after this, I can go down to, uh, where is it, uh, lie somewhere, lie ground, there we go, right here, and I'll just choose lie 01. I can double click it right in the middle of uh, the animation when it's still playing, and my character will just lie down like that. Okay, so no, uh, you can see right now, I double clicked it right in the middle, so it blended in, when I double clicked it, it was about frame 1350 right there, and then it started a new motion clip right there. We have some nice blending just going on like this. And you can see the beginning of this clip is the blending where it takes it down to the end right there. All right, so that's really cool. It's really neat and intuitive. And um, 
Like I mentioned in the intro, it uses a blending graph, which is a lot different from the previous uh, blending that we had. Uh, you can see in this example here, uh, the blending goes from basically to any motion back to the hub and back to the, uh, the next motion that you want to apply in the most intuitive and efficient way possible. So this is a very interesting and very cool and time-saving technology, to be honest. Let's take a look now at the difference between the G5, uh, G5 motions, uh, mixed moves, and the G6, or rather the uh, character creator. So I'm going to close this down again. Uh, I'm going to close down this and right-click my character, remove object animation. And now we're going to go uh, back in time and go to G5 characters, and we're going to bring in our boy Chuck here. All right, so I'm going to drag Chuck in right beside Christian. All right, so here we have our uh, two handsome uh, models right here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply the same motions to our characters, but I'm going to apply them with the different uh, G5 and character creator versions. And you'll see the difference right away. So let's go into the Mix Move tool again. And what you want to do is, since we have Chuck selected, I want to go up here to Profile and choose Male instead of Male CC. Now let's try a big sweeping motion. Say, for example, I go to Lie Ground. I want my character to lie prone on the ground right here. So I double click Chuck, you know, for some reason he'll sit down first and then he'll kind of uh, lie down, spin around, uh, do a little spin around there and go into a prone position. So, you know, maybe that's what you want, maybe that's not what you want. Uh, but let's go ahead and take a look at the same thing on Christian. So I'm going to go back to frame one and select Christian and I'm going to choose the male character creator profile. Now again, the character creator profile, you can apply it to any character, uh, any monster, any biped character that you have really. Um, it's not, it's basically just optimized for character creator characters, but these motions can also be applied to any other character as well. So just keep that in mind. Um, so now we're going to go to, uh, with Christian selected at frame one, we're going to select lie ground and just choose prone two. And we'll see the difference in transition. Christian will take a much more logical transition and kind of go prone on the ground like this and lie down like that. Okay, so much more uh, efficient and logical, the transition right there. Let's go ahead and close this down. I'm going to show you another example with two female characters now. So I'm going to right click. Uh, well, actually, we'll just delete these guys. We don't need them anymore. So long, fellas. And we're going to take Gwyn. I'm going to bring Gwyn in over here. And then I'm going to go to my character creator and we're going to bring in Natalie. Now she has her arms all spread out, don't worry about that. Uh, for, for the intents of this, uh, for the purpose of this tutorial, I'm actually going to remove the soft cloth animation right now by deselecting soft cloth simulation up there. And we're going to do the same thing with uh, Natalie and Gwyn. All right, so let's go ahead, choose Gwyn first and go to Mixed Moves. And we're going to choose Female uh, G5 Profile. And I'm going to just select Neil. So I'm going to have my uh, Gwyn character Neil on the ground right here. And then we're going to have her sit on the ground. So I'm going to go to sit ground and we're going to choose this sit G04. Okay, so she'll stand up. She won't, you know, she'll stand up and then go back to sitting down like this. So again, maybe not the most logical transition. Um, you can see the two motion clips in the bottom there. Let's go back to frame one and see what Natalie does in that same uh, scenario. So I'm going to choose uh, female CC and do the same thing. Let's just go to Neil, Neil01 right here. There you go. And once that's finished applying, then we'll have her lie on the ground and or uh, sit on the ground rather. We need to sit ground this one over here. And you can see she'll kind of kneel up, but then she'll bring her feet in front of the other one, like a more natural transition. That's how basically a normal person would probably go from that motion to the other. So what you're doing is you're just double clicking each one of these little uh, motions here and you're directing your character. It's like basically click to direct what you want your character to do. And you can see here that, uh, you know, obviously it's a little bit different. Quinn stands up and uh, there we go. All right, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you how you can do some really quick transition time editing. Okay, so say for example, we wanted uh, Natalie's transition to be a little bit faster. Okay, so as soon as she gets to the ground right here then on her knees, you can see she stands there for a bit, doing not much with her, uh, with her body right there from about here to there. She's not really doing much. So let's go ahead at this point here, I'm going to right click the motion clip and then I'm going to break it. Okay, I'm going to select this middle section here and then just delete that. And the beginning of this motion right here is where she starts to like, you know, come down like this. All right, so what we can do is we can actually just at this point here, we can click and drag this motion clip closer to the other one. And let's hold Alt and scroll our mouse uh, key up to zoom in on our timeline there. And you can see we have this little transition area right here. 
Now what's going to happen is we don't need all that nonsense in, in the middle uh, where she's just kind of sitting around. You can see she'll automatically transition to this position now. And we can even go as far as to at this point here, break it even further. And we'll bre break this here, delete this middle section, and then we can bring it up even further. So that's saving even more time in our transition. Okay, so then we have something like this. Okay, so she just she kneels down and then right away goes to this position here. And you know, maybe even we want to cut out this section here where she just, you know, is kneeling down for so long right here. We can break this at this point and then you know scroll down further on our timeline and at this point here we'll break again there you go and remove that section there and bring this little doodad up here there you go just make sure you're as close as possible and your blending can be you can stretch your blending area as well again there you go all right, so she's already seated by the time uh, Gwyn's standing up. So let's play back that entire motion. We can see the result. So she'll kneel and directly, that transition may have been a little bit uh, fast. You can see it was quite fast from here to there. She's just, you know, uh, we can stretch that out and make it a little bit slower. Let's try that one more time. Maybe a little bit smoother there. And then she'll go into that seated position right there. And then Gwyn will take forever to get back and seated. All right, so that's just one way you can really quickly, you know, um, cut little sections out of your uh, motion clips right there, and you can blend stuff together manually as well. All right, so let's go ahead and just uh, delete all this stuff. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in uh, Christian one more time. So let's delete our uh, female characters on the screen, and let's bring in our boy Christian. So we talked a lot about the blending already. Let's talk about the new improved mirror feature as well. So we can mirror. There's the option to mirror specific motions in uh, Mix Moves in Icon 6.5 as well. So let's go to Animation, Mix Moves again, and I'm going to choose Kneel, or rather let's go to a Squat first. Uh, so let's have uh, Stand or Sit on the Ground, there we go, we have a Squat. Oh, we don't want the female one, we want to choose the male one. I'm choosing all the wrong motions here, let's Control Z that. There we go, uh, Male CC, all right. We don't want to have her, him squatting like a female. All right, so now we have Sit Ground, let's choose the male Squat, all right, so a bit more manly. There you go. Squatting like a gangster. And what we're going to do is just apply the knee motion. So there's kneel right here. I'm going to choose kneel 03. So he's going to go onto one knee from the squatted position. Just like that. And then right after that, we can choose kneel 03 mirror. If I double click that, it'll go back in the squat position slowly and back to the other knee. All right, so that's a really cool uh, little new feature with. Uh, Mix moves in iClone 6.5. Let's try one more. Let's just uh, go back to frame one and there's lie on the ground and we can choose lie zero two. So our guy will, uh, you know, hopefully lie down on the ground there. There we go. And see he's having a restless night of sleep. He can't get to sleep. He shifts position and you can see there's a nice transition between lie two and the mirror to the other section like that. And we can also choose you know, lie four, uh, the mirror right here. So we'll get into the prone position or the uh, fetal position, I believe. There you go. And then we can, uh, you know, get into that fetal position as well by selecting the other lie. All right, so basically what we've done there is, you know, just mirror and blending. And uh, there's a number of different mirrored motions that you can select from your mix moves list. Now, another cool little feature I wanted to show you is the auto loop motion option at the bottom of your window here. Now, this is used if you want to have your character loop their motion over and over again until basically the end of your project. So if we have this deselected, for example, let's deselect it and let's choose a stand motion. Let's choose stand 02. Our character will stand there with his hands on his hips for a predetermined amount of time. And when that time runs out, the clip will end and we'll have a uh, clip right here. And then if we want him to transition to his uh, you know, arms crossed, we can choose stand 03 and he'll cross his arms for another predetermined amount of uh, time. In this case, 743 frames and we're done. We have those two clips. But what if we needed our character to be standing around for a longer period of time? Like he's a background idle character, or he's you know listening to someone yammer on, yammer on to infinity and beyond. Well, what we need to do is expand that. And we can go ahead and delete these two clips right now and go to frame one. Let's choose auto loop motion on and let's apply stand zero two. So what he'll do is he'll go with his hands on his hips. And previously it would have ended at frame, I think, 400 or something. But we can, you know, 
have him stand there because this person is talking for a longer period of time. And he's like, mm-hmm, yep, mm-hmm. And then, you know, say frame 800, 900, we can double click stand 03 and he'll transition to stand 03. And it'll keep on looping and looping and looping until the end of the project or until we press the space key. And then you can see we have these two clips that appear and they're as long as we want them to be, uh, basically. Okay, so that's one really cool uh, use for the auto loop motion tool. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at a, a, a seated example here. Um, so I'm going to go ahead with the uh, under sit chair. Let's choose legs crossed and talk. And let's just use this uh, sit and talk 01. So again, we can have him sit and he'll uh, bring his leg up and then he'll begin to start uh, talking, you know, using some generic gestures, you know. The other day I just uh, went to the store and I bought some paint and uh, some hardware tools and uh, you know we can just picture what he's saying. I don't need to ad lib this. And then we can go ahead and mirror it right here. So we mirror it um, and we have this looping. What he's going to do is he's going to bring his right leg down, bring his left leg up and he'll keep going. And you can see it'll extend our project automatically for as long as we need it to be going on. You can see the project uh, marker just continuing to go up there and you know continue to loop as long as we want it to loop. Okay, and there we have uh, these two clips, and we've just basically filled up, you know, uh, 30 seconds of our, of our uh, time you know, with uh, just these simple two clicks. Okay, and uh, that's uh, one example. Uh, I'm going to show you one final example how this can be super useful, and uh, I'm going to go to the Neil example, our Neil uh, motions to show this. Now, if I click Neil 1, um, I guess our character still had some animation from the previous data in there somewhere. Uh, let's hope this works. There we go. Neil 01. He'll go down into his knees. But he won't, you know, stand back up, go back down to his knees, stand back up. He won't do that. What he'll do is he'll stay idle on his knees, which is really useful. Um, this gives you like a whole nother uh, world of idle. So you can have a, a kneel idle, you can have a seated idle, and uh, he'll just stand here naturally idling on his knees. Now, for a comparison, if you wanted to do that using the other motion tools, what you would need to do is use something like the um, uh, motion layer editor tool. You know, we could bring our character down onto his knees um, by taking his hip bone and just kind of like going, Roop. there you go, get down on your knees. And then what we need to do is we need to go up to our motion uh, puppet tool over here. And this is a little sneaky little trick. Again, this is, you'd have to spend a lot more time doing this, obviously, but uh, we can choose something like a uh, natural male idol. Let's take the exaggeration down a little bit and maybe mask out his lower body by going to mask and mask out the entire lower body. And if we press space, there you go. So again, you'd have to use a combination of two separate tools and it's much more complicated uh, just to get a result like this, uh, an idling, uh, idling kneel, whereas you could just loop it over using the uh, mix moves tool in, uh, in iClone. So that's about it for this tutorial, guys. Uh, thanks so much for watching. Just want to to uh, teach you a little bit about mixed moves, give you an introduction to the new uh, feature uh, tool with 6.5. So uh, hopefully you learned a lot. Make sure you uh, remember to check out our forums over at forum.reillusion.com. And uh, thanks so much for listening, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.